there are some multipliers called prefix multipliers that will make big numbers appear smaller or small numbers would appear bigger. Let me give you an example. Terra, which means 10 to power 12 or one with 12 zeros behind it is one of the units that is very common in the computer world. For example, if you buy a new computer, they may tell you that the hard drive is 2 terabytes. What that means is that you have 2 multiplied by 10 to power 12 bytes of storage on that hard drive. Giga. Giga means 10 to power 9 or 1 with 9 zeros behind it. So if you buy a new cell phone and they tell you that the storage on the cell phone is 32 gigabytes, what that means is that it is 32 times 10 to power 9 bytes of storage. Mega means 10 to power 6. Kilo is very common. You hear of kilograms, kilometer, and so on. Kilo means 10 to power 3, or 1 with 3 zeros behind it. 1000. So, if the weight of a child is 15 kilograms, that is another way of saying that the weight of the child is 15 times 10 to power 3 grams. Desi. Desi means 10 to negative 1 or 0 0.1 centi centi means 10 to negative 2 or 0 0.01 milli in chemistry we use milli a lot because we make measurements in the lab in milliliter milli means 10 to negative 3 or 0 0.001 so if for example I make a measurement and the measurement is 2.5 milliliter what I am saying indirectly is that it is 2.5 times 10 to negative 3 liter since 10 to negative 3 is the same thing as milli. Micro. Micro, be careful the way it is written. This is one way to write micro. That's one of the symbols for micro. Or in healthcare, it is written as MC, which means micro. Micro means 10 to negative 6. Or 0.000001 Nano Nano is very common these days Nanotechnology Nano science Nanobots Nano means 10 to negative 9 Pico Pico means 10 to negative 12 Femto means 10 to negative 15 let us take a look at some examples of how to use the prefix multipliers. Take a look at these two questions. In the first question, we want to convert 150 microsecond into seconds and then convert to nanosecond. 
That should be very easy to do if you remember your prefix multipliers. So let us use conversion factors to do this. One microsecond, one microsecond is equal to 10 to negative 6 seconds because micro is exactly 10 to negative 6. So I have only rewritten the micro as 10 to negative 6. So if I want to convert 150 microsecond to seconds, this is the quantity that I want to convert. I will simply multiply it by the relationship between what I want to convert and what I want to get. And the relationship would be written as a conversion factor such that microsecond will cancel out since I no longer want it. So written like this, microsecond is gone. I have essentially converted to seconds. So this would be 150 times 10 to negative 6 seconds. Now let us convert the seconds to nanoseconds. Again, this should be very straightforward. Let us write the relationship between nanosecond and second. The relationship is that nano literally means 10 to negative 9. So, one nanosecond would be equal to 1 times 10 to negative 9 seconds. Since nano literally means 10 to negative 9. So I have not done anything yet. All I have done is replace nano with 10 to negative 9. Now I can make use of that as a conversion factor. And I will write it in such a way that seconds will cancel out since I no longer need seconds. So 1 times 10 to negative 9 seconds will be equal to 1 nanoseconds and written like this seconds will cancel out therefore all I now need to do is use my calculator to complete the rest my calculator gives me one five zero 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 nanoseconds Let us take a look at the second example. Here we want to convert from kilograms to grams and then from grams to milligrams. And to do this conversion, first I'm looking at the relationship between kilogram and gram. Well, I know the meaning of kilo. Kilo literally means 10 to power 3 which means one kilogram is the same thing as 10 to power 3 grams. Again, all I've done is replace the kilo with 10 to power 3. So converting from kilogram to gram should be very straightforward since I now know the conversion factor. So if I have 0. 0000734 kilogram, I can easily convert it to grams if I multiply by my conversion factor, which will be written in such a way that kilogram can cancel out. So I have essentially completed the conversion from kilogram to grams. From my calculator, this should give me 0 0.0734 grams. Now I want to complete the second part. 
I want to go from grams to milligrams. Again, I know the meaning of milli. Milli literally means 10 to negative 3. So that means that 1 milligram would be equal to 10 to negative 3 grams. Again, I'm simply replacing milli with 10 to negative 3. Now I can use that relationship as my conversion factor and I'm going to write the relationship in such a way that grams will cancel out. So 10 to negative 3 grams is equal to 1 milligram and I'm writing it like that because grams would be able to cancel out. My calculator says that the final answer should be 73.4 milligrams.